Hello, I'm Bill Miller from the Jetter's Edge. I'd like to take over a few jetting tips for when you're jetting. If this is your first time or you need some refresh. Um, jetting hoses can be extremely flexible and go to the areas that you don't want them to go. So if you've got a standard house drain and you've got a branch line that might be going to a toilet for instance, the last thing you want to do is pop up the back of the toilet pan. So when you're jetting up the line, the root cutting head will want to take a branch line up here. The best idea is to make it go straight up to your obstruction up here. So your first your penetrating head goes straight up, no problems. Your root cutting head, as it goes up the drain, it'll be flicking over all sides of the pipe. If you let it direct straight up to the blockage, it'll go straight there and it'll cut the roots out. But if you twist and turn, it'll take this branch line. Now it takes the branch line, it'll come up through, take the back of the pan out. If you want it to go up this branch line, that's fine. You can twist your hose to the right, and it'll go up that branch line. But if you don't, it'll go the wrong way. Now if you're jetting the other way, and you're coming downstream, jet straight ahead as quick as you can. Don't twist it, because if you do twist it, that hose can get caught around this corner here. Next thing you know, your nozzle's sitting back here. That hose gets really tight on that joint, and you won't get the nozzle back. It'll get jammed. So you don't want to get your nozzle jammed. So try and get that nozzle to shoot straight down the line as quick as it can, and it won't get caught on those bends. Another area where you can get into trouble is going around a gully or a boundary trap. There's always a sharp bend here, so if you use a little bit of egg pipe where you enter the drain, push egg pipe down around there first, feed your jetter hose down into here, the hose comes around, down through the egg pipe, and up through here. Sometimes there's a very sharp point there that stops your hose from getting damaged on that corner. When your hose comes around the end, it'll want to be going straight, and a lot of times they'll get stuck in the inspection opening caps. To stop it getting stuck, turn your jetter off, the weight of the hose will drop down, turn it back on again, and it'll spring forward and head down the line again. If you've got a shaft, you've got a branch line you want to get through, Stick your jetter hose down and have it reversed like that. So by the time your hose gets down here, it's reversed, the hose will flick out and drop back down into here. It'll flick down that way, turn your jetter on and it'll start pulling down here. So just shove your hose reversed in the pipe so it gets in line of that junction. When it gets down about here, give it a flick and it'll go straight down through here. It's an easy way to get up the branch line. If you've got a 45 degree boundary trap, um, they can be quite difficult to get through. Sometimes you get some 2 inch pipe and glue a 2 inch 90 on, cut the end off a bit, push that down, and that'll take pressure off the hose. So when the hose goes through, goes through your feeder tube and it's got a round edge there instead of that sharp edge and it's free to pull up. When you're pulling back it takes all the pressure off that sharp corner there. If your hose is going down a drain that's six inches in diameter, the standard nozzles will work. If you're going down drain that's 9 inches in diameter, the turbo or the nozzle you're using can turn back on itself to, and then it'll just chase you down the pipe. To stop that happening, you put an extension on so that the nozzle and the extension is the same diameter as the pipe. That diameter is the same, that can't turn around back on you and come back. If it comes back, it'll do a lot of injury. 
So four inch and six inch drains, no problems. Nine inch drains plus, put on a short extension.